In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. Hello, I'm Father Paul, and this is the good news. Christ is in our midst. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, my strength and my Redeemer. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke, chapter 15, verses 1 through to 10. Then all the tax collectors and sinners drew near to him to hear him. And the Pharisees and scribes complained, saying, This man receives sinners and eats with them. So he spoke this parable to them, saying, what man of you, having a hundred sheep, if he loses one of them, does not leave the ninety-nine in the wilderness and go after the one which is lost until he finds it? And when he has found it, he lays it on his shoulders, rejoicing. And when he comes home, he calls together his friends and neighbours, saying to them, Rejoice with me, for I have found my sheep which was lost. I say to you that, uh, that likewise there will be more joy in heaven over one sinner who repents than over ninety-nine just persons who need no repentance. Or oh, what woman, having ten silver coins, if she loses one coin, does not light a lamp, sweep the house and search carefully until she finds it? And when she's found it, she calls her friends and neighbours together, saying, Rejoice with me, for I have found the peace which I lost. Likewise, I say to you, there is a joy in the presence of the angels of God over one sinner who repents. Glory to you, O God. Come, Holy Spirit, fill our hearts with your love. Help us in the understanding of your words and teachings. Help us to repent. In the scripture reading today from St. Luke, we read, of course, of another parable that Jesus spoke. At the beginning we see how the tax collectors and sinners came next near Jesus just to listen to him. The Pharisees and scribes complained, saying, This man receives sinners and, and eats with them. Terrible. So Jesus spoke the parable about the man who lost a sheep. He had over a hundred sheep. He lost one. He left the 99 in the desert and went after that one sheep. He found that sheep and raised it up onto his shoulders. And Jesus said to them, I say to you, likewise, there will be more joy in heaven over one sinner who repents than over the 99 just persons who need no repentance. And then he gave another example about a woman who had ten silver coins and she lost one. She cleaned the whole house from top to bottom. She found it. And then she called her friends and neighbours together, saying, Rejoice with me, I that for I found the peace which I lost. Likewise, Jesus said, I say to you, there is joy in the presence of the angels of God over one sinner who repents. Yes. More joy in heaven over one sinner who repents than those who are just. Once again, we are being called 
to repent, to repent of our sins. All of us, yes, are sinners in the sight of God. We must have a repentant heart. No matter how hard we try, we fall. This world keeps on dragging us down into the mire of this world. We fall. To follow the world. Yes, many of us fall into that trap. Satan wants us to stop going to church, stop repenting, follow the world in its sinful ways. But God wants us to have a repentful heart. Yes, a contrite heart God will not spurn. Not a proud, a proud heart he will. He wants us to be contrite. To repent. Yes. This is the message. Through all the gospel. Yes. From when we read about John the Baptist, before the forerunner, before... Christ started his ministry, was calling on people to repent. The prophets before him even were calling on the people to repent of their worldly ways. So too, today, you are being called to repent of your worldly ways and follow Christ. Yes. All of us, we who are sinners, are called to repentance. Lord, help us to repent. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me, a sinner. Have mercy on me, a sinner. Glory to you, O God, and may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always. Amen. 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 Most Holy Theotokos, save us. Amen.